I just wanted to make this quick video offering a solution to a weird issue that has yet to be fixed with the new virtual shadow maps in Unreal Engine 5. I have this character in a T-pose to slightly exaggerate the problem. You can see that as I move around, parts of the shadows seem to get stuck in the virtual texture and don't recycle right away. There is also the possibility that the shadows will stretch and even get stuck in the stretched state. I'm not sure exactly why this is happening from a technical standpoint, but I do know how to temporarily solve the problem. As I mentioned, this is an issue with the new virtual shadow maps, which are still labeled as being a beta feature, but found their way to being the default option in recent versions of Unreal Engine 5. If this issue is a deal breaker for your project, simply search shadow map in the project settings and change the shadow map method for your project from virtual shadow maps beta to the generic shadow maps carried over from Unreal Engine 4. Now I can move the character around and there's no stretching, no false baking, and everything works just fine. Looking at them side by side, however, you can see a drastic difference in the quality between the two methods. The virtual shadow maps are definitely the better looking option when things are working correctly. As you can see here, with some fairly simplistic ladder meshes, this method is not exactly great when it comes to high fidelity objects. I did also drop in some high poly nanite clips as well though, and as far as I can tell, it does work perfectly fine. Aside from the obvious popping of quality that happens as you zoom in and out, which is a general necessity of the method due to the way that the shadows are rendered. 